The Faison got to her, and she died. But don't worry, it's, we're back! So... There's a couple of... I think... We can go into that's the, the final part. That's the, the end of the game there, we don't want to go there. Um, we do want to go like down here somewhere, yeah. Also once we do the half pipe <laughs> now, yeah. Funny. Um, so I guess we will go to th through the, the pirate frigate now. What, what's this made of? Missile maybe? Oh, I just need more fall. Um, and get all the items there hopefully. Never have to come back there again. Yeah. So, if you remember the be very beginning of the game, we were on a ship, right? And that sh same ship, um, we crashed on the planet, but that same ship crashed also. And that's what you see here. The same ship um, crashed on the planet. Hey, but we. I. No, for sh I have the gravity suit, so I can definitely do something in this water here. Uh, like, get this missile expansion. Hello. I want you. Maybe I need to get up here. Joe! Oh. Huh. Maybe I don't need a grapple beam. Uh, I don't think I need the grapple beam. I have the... I have an item I'm definitely not supposed to have yet, so... Ah, uh, see, yeah, I don't need it. It's just, it's just to help you not go through the water. But if you... If you have the gravity suits, then you can do a lot more. Good. Yeah, that makes more sense. I was thinking, like, how can you go to phase on mines without going through here first? Um, so that other white door... It's not that important now. The suits. And it's pointless to come here normally anyway. Not normally, like, in the speedrun. You just avoid this area in the speed run. But in a 100% run, we want to get the items that's, that's in here. And we want to get to the end of what's in here to get the X-ray visor. Oh, I feel like I'm rambling. Um, wow! So immediately, we, we're in the ship and immediately the water section begins. Uh, Normally we would be walking so slowly and our vision would be encumbered. And it's supposed to add to the atmosphere and it kind of does, but also it, it's a bad water level and it makes, uh, makes you feel bad. But that won't be the case. But we will be seeing uh, returning structures and then uh, layouts from the first the, the prologue of the game. Maybe even some same rooms. I think there's like at least one room that's the same. That you, that you go into both in the... This new part and... First part. Ah, power conduits. Yes. I need the thermal beam. A lot in this section, I remember. Cool door. Oh boy, yeah, this room. The music here becomes kind of nice, but 
Imagine having no jump control. Aqua Pirates. So, this room, if I remember correctly, we also need to do some conduits, and, and that's true. So like the that's the thing, like you're supposed to like platform around the these these levels finding these power conduits. But if you're if you're moving slow, that's just annoying busy work. Um, for some reason Siri activated from that sentence. I don't know what I did, but weird. There's one more, I think it might be right here. Yeah. Other than that, is there something else in this room? I, I saw there was a node even without the thermal visor, so just let me do it. Hello. Save point. Just enjoy the chill music. many items in this area but we do need this energy tank that's a door that's always broken I think there's also some conduits in this room maybe Metro Prime does like do most of the Super Metroid or Metroid 1 let's say Ooh, environmental storytelling. Space fire, it just died here. Um, m most of the environments that are in the in the Super Metroid and Metro Prime, this game uh, in Metroid One, Metro Prime does that too. And there was like a water section too, like a lava section. Uh, the Talon Overworld section is also pretty similar. There's no like, you c you could maybe compare Chosen Runes with Brinstar, but. Ice section, that's new to this game. There was always an ice beam, but... Ah, see, I was right, there were power conduits here. Why didn't they show up? They were just hidden away so well. Okay, where's the last one, though? Oh, right here in the beginning. Oh, dang. Wish I'd known. Just relax with the calm music. I think this room is one we visited in the prologue of the game. It's like the one with all the test subjects. And I think in that prologue, there might have been an upgrade already there, and maybe it said like you couldn't get it. But I hear it now, and I think it's like in one of these pods. Wait, shout out to pods. Annoying enemies. Is this one? Is Cordite, which is this missile? No. 
Cordite is super missile? Yes. If you don't have super missiles when you get to this point, you have to come all the way back to the middle of this section. And there's only one way in and one way out. Um, so that's another reason why this... Like, the whole world is really in interconnected, but this section... It's technically part of the Talon overworld, but it's not really that well connected because you're in like a ship. So it's not that, not that interwoven with the rest of the world, so it feels... Yeah, how can I say? feels off, I guess. this noise. Having the plasma beam will make this a little bit easier. Oh, I, I forgot my cardinal rule, which is check the... Every, every single room you have to restore the power. So I forgot my... Like, yeah, here too. But enemies distracted me. That's, I guess, another reason why this section feels so slow is because you're, you're supposed to activate the door in every room. Instead of just going from room to room gradually, normally. Oh, more dead pirates. You're an aqua sack. Okay, I'm gonna immediately check my thermal visor. Now watch this be the one room that you don't have to activate. <laughs> uh, it's the one room where you don't have to activate the door. It's funny. Because of the water. Ah, there's a power up there. I don't think you need the gravity suit to do it, but you do need to like double bomb jump, but do it in a creative way. And yeah, that was up to you do it like here. Yeah, nice. Another energy tank. Yeah, I feel like we've gotten like almost no missile expansions, but so many energy tanks. Which is good, I guess. Energy tanks are more important. Those things are scary. Ah. Every there. We made it to the other side of the frigate. Okay, that was actually a lot shorter than I thought. I thought I remember it being so long. Maybe if you don't have the gravity suit, it just it just feels like it takes forever. Okay, good. We're in the room where we're supposed to be to get the next important item. Um, one of the final important items. Final visor, the X-ray visor. And having the power bomb here is also very important since uh, that will open up the room and get another artifact for us. Um, this here, I will just do this for the map. I think maybe there's something here. No. Uh, but this goes back to our phase on mine east. Oh, interesting. 
Okay, we can we can go in there. That's very good, actually. We can go to the phase on mines after right right after this. I was sure that would have would have gone to another place. How come I couldn't go in there before? Hmm. When I had uh... oh, or no, I wasn't able to. There, there is a way, but I, was, I, th I think I failed to cross over this um, this door. We will see here in a moment. This boost ball door. Okay. Like I, I made it. I'm at. I had made it here, but I couldn't bomb jump up up through the those pillars, which is possible, but I failed that. So I couldn't uh, go to the fatal mines. Yeah, that's where I originally came from, that shows the runes. Okay, that was up there. Things are making more sense. Let's switch to Plasma Beam. If I go behind, that's where I would have come from. Okay. Now I have the Spider Ball! Like you don't, you can you can skip this. Pretty sure you can skip this. Um, but I, th I th yeah, I think I just failed that part. Simply put. And then you need power bombs here, right? Right. So that's the thing, you need power bombs here. That's I didn't have power bombs, so it would have been pointless. <sighs> but now here's the annoying part, is I need two power bombs then. I can go get the x-ray vi visor now, but... I need, I need another power bomb because... The x-ray visor room, as you will shortly see... It, uh, it can be opened up with another power bomb. Half pipe. Hey, that one's pretty hidden, but you can hear it. That's it. The X-ray visor. Seems like it would maybe not be that important, but you do need it to finish the game. Otherwise, you can't hurt the final boss and maybe one other boss too. Oh, we got the power bomb. From that thing. Oh, that's really good. Okay, so this is what the x-ray visor looks like. And you can see like, oh, there's actually more here. You can see, see through walls, you know, like like Superman or something. And maybe they programmed that, that enemy to always give power bombs? Either way, super good. Because then we can just straight away do this. Which makes our life so much easier, then we don't have to come back. So that's pretty cool. Uh, maybe that enemy always gives power bomb ammo, that's super cool. Uh, yeah. This room houses one of the 12 artifacts we need to effectively to, to beat the game. To gain access to the final area of the game. So, very important. Oh, I shouldn't have done this, maybe. Oh, that was scary. Uh -huh, that was that was scary. She shows a go scared me. Try 
Those will both scare me. I think it's because they want to. Sh the reason why they're here is because they want to show, like, hey, show the ghost, they, they disappear, but if you have an x ray visor, you can always see them. Even though, to be honest, I can't see them well. Using, I'm just using super missiles because I'm scared of them. Oh, they hurt me so much, and then. <laughs> oh, this thing sucks so much. That's why I was so scared of him originally. Jeffy just still got scared by video games in 2020. Amazing. I'm just gonna try it. Ah, uh, that's why. You need to use another power bomb. And there's the artifact we need. It makes me wonder if I needed to do that ghost thing at all. Uh, maybe to exit the room, yeah, maybe it's possible because that that ledge really seems a little bit high. Me artifacts. Seventh of twelve, but it doesn't mean we actually have seven. Um, we have that one. We only have we only officially have three. There's one you get for free, which we haven't gotten yet. When you get to the final area, or oh, right before that, there. So actually, we still need quite a lot. Okay, back here. Now there's that blue door that's housing something. Ah, it's see. That this is the X-ray visor. This is the devious part about the X-ray visor. There's hidden platforms in this game, completely invisible, and how, the only way you can see them is with the X-ray visor. I think there, you, you don't need to have the X-ray visor in order to jump on them. So if you know where they are, it's possible to ignore them, but. Yeah, invisible platforms and invisible walls are in this game. So, we're supposed to jump up here. And then there's a hidden door there. Um, Or missile expansion. Okay, it was just a simple missile expansion. Cool. Yes, yeah, see, I know you want us to half pipe. I just have a feeling it will not just allow me to go into the phase of mine so easily. This is too easily accessible. Let's see though. Yeah, I was say I was gonna say oh we're far away from where we were, but that never happened. That was a different timeline. I don't know. This is the main. This is one of the main entrances to the phase on mines. Maybe the main entrance, and I could have sworn the main entrance was a magma caverns, but I guess I'm just wrong. Okay, this is the main entrance. The grapple beam is pretty nearby. I think it's like through that door. 
Um, as well as the force fields. Um, so the phase on mine is basically their mining operation. It's another space pirate area. Yeah. I don't know why they want us to scan to get to the safe station, but maybe that's their reasoning of like, oh the space pirates they can't access the safe station because they don't have scanning technology like Sam's suit does. So it's only exclusive to her. Um